PNY models have been some of my most recommended cars in the whole RTX 4000 lineup due to their low pricing and also pretty big history from the company, which, even though not many of you know, is actually a US company making a lot of server cars. They make a lot of GPUs. The base model PNY RTX 5080 has also been one of the few 5080s I was recommending at launch where we couldn't buy any cards. PNY cards, some were available and out there for good pricing. So we had a pretty desperate situation and I was actually recommending 5080. Now the market is the opposite because you can actually find cards brand new below MSRP for the first time ever. So should you get an RTX 5070 Ti PNY base model, the triple fan OC version, full black. Let's see. As usual, I like to keep these reviews short. So let's start quickly. Now the packaging is very simple. There is nothing in there. You just get the GPU and a simple cable, which this time I'm also using in this build, which is on the channel because we ran out of money for an ATX 3.1 PSU, unfortunately. And the card has a few nice peel-offs to do, but nothing crazy. You're not buying this card for the unboxing experience, nor for the box, because the box looks really bad. The card is also pretty thin, but has a triple slot IO shield, which is a very big negative, because it means you cannot put it in any SFF PC. And also, if you're vertical mounting it, you need a triple slot space. It's a massive issue. I actually wasn't expecting them to do this because all modern cars are cutting into two slots, especially because the third slot does nothing, but they do it to have the air come out. And I suppose, yes, with a triple slot, you do get a little bit more stability. So it does also make sense in that regard, but this is a big negative from me. Now the card doesn't have RGB, doesn't have a BIOS switch, and it has the usual one HDMI 2 display port output. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, it is a glossy black, which scratches very easily. With that said, the card actually performs great. The core is cool and the memory is too, even though we are dealing with 60 gigabytes of GDR7 memory cooled by a relatively small heatsink. The card is also relatively light, which I'm not sure if it's positive. Even after long gaming sessions, the card does not coil wine. Now, if you're watching other reviews, keep in mind that coil wine is very random. You may get coil wine on the best GPU out there, on a rogue astral card, on an MSI Vanguard, and you may not get it on a cheaper end card. However, being able to test multiple models before doing reviews, I can say there is a little bit of statistical relevance to models. So usually better models have less coil wine because they have better electronics components on board. However, from the three PNY GPUs I've had, no coil wine recorded, but yours may have it, so don't count too much on this segment, but I'm just saying it for statistic purposes. It also doesn't get too loud. It is a pretty good card, even in an enclosed case, even vertical mounted without bottom intake fans in this height Y70. All in all, here's the verdict. No reason not to buy it, except that it's very boring and has no spice to it. If you're after a very cheap card, which is very well built, which is not gonna run too hot, and it's gonna do exactly everything you want from 5070 Ti, this is the card for you, if you don't care about aesthetics. This model here also had a very good overclock and undervolt headroom. I do recommend you go ahead and undervolt this card. Please do it, it's gonna run a lot better, as usual tutorials are on the channel. And with that said, if you want to buy one and you like it, buy it. It's a good buy. And if you watched the video this far, maybe drop a like and subscribe to help me get more cards. Bye bye.